Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I'll explain you um, how to configure the timeline in Health Cloud, right? Timeline is important. Timeline is like the way you measure the patient, um, you know, health journey in terms of, you know, different activities that are going on in, uh, in patient uh, health cycle uh, model. Um, so... I'm not going to show you the, 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 the graphic representation of the timeline, but what I want to do, I'm going to show you some of the stuff um, how associated with uh, bringing a timeline to your uh, care coordination um, profile, right? A person profile. Because if you are a care coordinator, right, it's very useful for you to have a look at the timeline of the person to see what's uh, scheduled for that person and what all the things that person uh, can do, right? Okay. So, um, the you know, what I've done, right? So, this is my care coordination view from Mr. Charles Green. And um, if I go more here, and I've added a tab called Timeline, and I've dragged and dropped a Timeline component uh, uh, using uh, Edit Page. I'll show you in a second. And then I have this something called uh, Spinal Therapy uh, for this person, right? So, this is uh, something I've added, Session Settings. Uh, that's a custom object, and you can add a different custom objects you want and I'll show you how to do that and how to bring that to the timeline right it's pretty simple okay now how to bring this up timeline option here right you know if you don't have that option <clears throat> it's pretty simple uh, go to your edit page under profile and what I did and remember, most of the things they were, uh, what Salesforce use for Health Cloud, they use Omni Studio. Like for instance, the uh, the patient card. Uh, so this one, right? Uh, this patient navigation. This is a patient card. This is a flex card option, right? Um, okay. So we have this uh, uh, thingy here, right? So I click here, and then you'll see the. Uh, different tabs option right so i've added the timeline tab here so if i click here right i select the timeline if i go more and i did timeline here then what i did i drag and drop this timeline component to this page that's pretty much i did now once after that when i click here you have an option to do a timeline configuration so <clears throat> you can select you know different options here Clinical data, assessments, you know, like, let's say if I wanted to do clinical data, I can do that as well. Engagement data, I can do that as well. And I can do, okay, save and activation. Right, let's see if it's, okay, it's already activated. So I'm going to do save. And I'll go back. Right, I'll refresh it, this page. Now, you know, you might have a requirement where you wanted to, you know, measure, you know, say, like for instance, I wanted to measure as, as uh, a therapy a session for this customer, right? So I created a custom object called a session therapy and then I added a few fields in it and then I created a time view configuration. So that's exactly what I'm going to show uh, today. Okay, so I go to more, right, and go to timeline. Now, you can see that we have an option now where you can uh, pick and choose different uh, settings. Like before, we only had uh, session settings. Now, we have clinical data and engagement data because if you remember, I can figure that under page layout, right? Sorry, under edit page settings. So if I go to clinical data, so you can see that here. So this is a nice looking view, right? Um, uh, option for say a care coordinator to just go and look at this person profile and look at the timeline pretty simple right okay now how do you do how did i manage to get this session settings and you, and you should be asking one question right if i go back to this page edit page right Right, and you know, I believe that um, you know any any learning journey involves asking the right question, right? So the question you should be asking, right? If we go to timeline, 
right I hate this page analysis page I go here now when I select it you should be asking from where I'm getting this option right and why and how do you manage to configure the session settings right obviously that's a very valid question so to achieve this what I've done so I'll go back uh, remember I spoke about uh, before I explain that, let me show you a custom object which I've created. So because it's all tied together. Okay, so I'll go to setting, setup. And uh, go here. Um, and I will, sorry, not this. And I'll also go to. So I've created this custom object called session settings. Um, you know, it's, it's it's just a simple custom object. It has appointment day, type of therapy you want to attend, and the duration of the therapy, and, and the person profile you're associating with it. That's pretty much it, right? So it has a lookup relationship to, um, to the account, like you see here, and which is very important. I'll show you why in a second. So this is a simple um, a custom object I created, right? That's the reason why you're seeing that session information there. Okay, now I go back to setup, and you type time. Well, seems like time. <laughs> timeline under timeline settings, timeline. So you can see that here, right? From here that information around the timeline you know pick and choose uh, option uh, is derived like section settings I've, I've created my this but you can do your own like you can go to the new timeline so instead of that you can go to the new timeline you can add the information so what I'll do I will go to the session setting here um, and I'll all right let me deactivate it right okay and I'll activate this option later so I go to edit right so what I'll did um, so I filled the information the like session setting and which object you wanted to link it to I said okay I wanted to link to account because obviously that's where I wanted to display the information right and then I went to timeline related object which object you want uh, this to be related to obviously I said I wanted to relate it to the session object and this is something you got related object and which field is the mapping field between an account and session Remember, I spoke about the lookup relationship in the session, right? This is the reason why I created that, okay? And then I go next, and then any conditions you wanted to add for the record visibility. I prefer to show everything, but, you know, if you have any kind of business rule which prevents certain records not to be displayed, you can add the condition there. I can go next, and title, appointment date, uh, timestamp, right? And fields which you wanted to display, right? And I would say appointment date I can also add you can add a lot of stuff right and and then says okay and then I will say preview timeline and you wanted to preview timeline on child screen you can see something like that pretty simple right nice and easy okay I'll do save and then I'll do come here and I'll activate it because if you don't activate you won't see that information right so that's cool and one more thing I've done, though, the time view, timeline view configuration. So, this is normally used for the timeline, the fancy looking uh, chart, uh, you know, the view. Um, so, what I did, I just created a timeline view configuration, new entry, uh, by going to new, and then filling the information right so i'll show you what information i've filled i did right um and this is normally for um if you wanted to display in a form of a you know fancy looking um interface right it's it's not to do with that what i've displayed but i just wanted to mention this anyways right um so um what i did like i said I uh, created a new record and I've added the session name, session which uh, session you wanted to link to, um, friendly name, object name, data type, field, um, 
and horror field, all kind of stuff, right? So, so yeah, that's um, so that's the stuff I've done, and um, and for some reason, right? I cannot show you that um, this the fancy looking uh, the timeline on this trial work. It seems it doesn't seem to work for some reason. So my apologies for that, but. If you remember that, if you worked on a health cloud, if you remember there's a timeline view, um, and the timeline view is about where you can see that in a form of a, like a tree view on a big screen where you can pick and choose different stuff. Um, I can't show that option for some reason. It doesn't work in my org, but I can do that apparently in the org which, where, where I work for a customer place, right? It's pretty much the same option, but yeah. So, but... You know, to do that, you need to have this option there configured. So I can select it, and you can see the appoint, uh, your appointment there. So this is how you configure it, and this is a lookup relationship, sort order, and all kind of stuff, right? And icon. Um, if you don't have um, an icon, because mostly uh, most of this information will be displayed in the form of an icon, but if you don't, you can download your own and, you know, hook it up by going to Classic Documents, upload an icon under respective folder in case so uh, if you if you've never done that it's you know you obviously need an icon so we go to Salesforce classic um, uh, just go to health cloud admin go to document and under health cloud asset upload an icon right that's pretty much it and then you mention this name here oh, it's gonna take time yeah it's here um yeah that's <laughs> that's that's pretty much it um and yeah uh, now, coming back to my initial stuff, which I was demonstrating. So the reason why I wanted to show you that, I mean, if you have a timeline view, right? And if you wanted to add the item there, so this is how you add it. You go to the timeline view configuration. If I go to Jaws here, and I go to timeline, I can also book the session from here. And if I say, okay, book the session for me. Um, I'll say back therapy, uh, whatever, 60 minutes, details, back therapy for spinal code or whatever. Um, I'll just say 25th, right, and I'll say the type uh, spinal injury, right, and I'll go back here, now I'll go to all screen. And I said, oh, all right, now you have this, and you can see the appointment date. So this way, you can actually keep a track of the person timeline. It's, it's pretty useful functionality. And then this one I was talking about, right? Uh, this one is usually a flex card. Uh, this is, um, if you want, you can go to you can go to flex card, and obviously you can, you can view this information um, if you're curious about it. Uh, the w one thing I just wanted to mention, right, the way uh, Health Cloud is used, it depends, right? Not every company uses Health Cloud in the same way. Like like I, the place where I work, right, we use Health Cloud. But the thing is that a lot of things are customized. You don't use most of the out-of-box functionality because you use a extended, you know, uh, third-party, uh, not really third-party because um, it's rebuilt it, but, um, uh, but it's not really a... Uh, health cloud option it's something we built on top of it right so um so yeah so the reason why i wanted to mention this right uh, you might if you if you worked in a health cloud right in uh, let's say in one place and you might go to another place and say oh it looks entirely different why is that right because sometimes people don't really use out of box functionality they might have existing you know third-party components they've been you know they've been using in-house they might want to do that so just wanted to mention that. So I personally, if you if you ask me, I haven't used timeline, right? I don't use timeline, um, 
and also the way we use health cloud is a little bit different right because i uh, i can't really mention much about the project because you know i wanted to get into trouble getting about the details of the project but just all i would say that i would use timeline right in my you know i've been in this current project with a customer for almost a year i've been used timeline I've, I've done a lot of integration stuff configuration a lot of of complex uh, i would say that i've built a lot of a very super complex flows uh, we use a lot of event driven architecture so a lot of fun stuff we've, we've done um, so <laughs> at times i wonder why did we even bought the license right because most of the stuff we don't even use it but yeah that's what it is um, so yeah um, if you're if you must if you're working in the united states you might have used if you've used health cloud the usage of health cloud in America is very different to how the way we use in New Zealand. So um, that's one of the reasons why some of the things I can't relate. So it's fine. It's very difficult for me to explain those stuff like, you know, insurance, for instance, right? It doesn't really work in New Zealand, the insurance concept like like the like it, it works in the United States, right? In America, like I said, right, you know, I often say, correct me if I'm wrong, that I heard that you need insurance for every damn thing, right? In New Zealand, it's not the case, right? Most of our healthcare is free, right? If you are sick, you can go to hospital. If you need a surgery, you can get it done free of cost, right? It's a different story. You might have a long waiting time, right? You might have to wait a couple of months to, you know, go back and forth with your specialist, um, any GP and other stuff, right? A lot of formalities involved. And depending how understaffed uh, hospital is, because these days, you know, uh, people get a lot of illnesses like COVID has proven that, right? Hospitals can be overbooked, right? Doctors can get overwhelming uh, patients, right? So, yeah, the things can get delayed, unfortunately, which is not really idle uh, in a real-world scenario, but but that's what it is. So, yeah, this is all I wanted to talk in this episode. I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday. Adios.